know as marketers that the more, the longer somebody waits, we know they're not going to make a decision. And so you need to give them a decision. That's why they call to action so. They might think it's great, exciting, I'm going to think about it, but they're not going to think about it. And that's why persuasion is so important. And to be an ethical persuader, you're helping somebody get involved with something that they need. Because if they don't get involved with you, they probably might not get involved. They might solve their problems. Or someone else with an inferior product might persuade them to do it. So let's talk about motivation. Because motivation is that call to action. Because when you write your copy and you do your persuasion, you have to understand that different people are motivated by different things. I call this the motivation equation. Basically, the thing to remember is that there's basically two motivators in life. Inspiration and desperation. That's it. So in your marketing, you need to use a little both and understand that some people move away from their problems and some people move towards the solution. Some people away from their pain towards the pleasure, however you want to categorize it, but it's basically inspiration and desperation. You need to have a little bit of both in your marketing because we're different people. You need to understand your audience. Now that type of inspiration could be either internal or external. Now remember, desperation is rooted out of logic and inspiration is rooted out of your emotions. Okay, so let me just briefly show you how this works. You want, there's basically four quadrants of motivation. You want to use all four in your marketing. The bottom left-hand corner is external desperation. That would be fear. Let's say you're doing a weight loss product. You could use fear. If you don't get on this, you're going to die. Simple. You're going to scare people. You're going to get people on your product. You're going to die of a heart attack. You're going to live a miserable life. Get on my product. Very short term, but for many people it works. The next is internal desperation or that duty or obligation for a weight loss product. Your duty or obligation to your family. You know, your family wants you to be healthy. Your family wants to be around for a long time. That would be the internal desperation you feel to lose weight and to get on that product. The next, the lower right-hand corner, external inspiration. That respect or your love where instead of that feeling that desperation, you're inspired to get lean and mean for your wife to look good and just to to feel better because you're doing that for other people, to live longer for your children, to be able to see your children get married. That would be internal, external inspiration. And the top, the most important, the greatest motivator is eternal inspiration. And you can tell, help other people feel that it's their idea and they want to do it and tap into their passion for a weight loss product to feel better, to look better, to last longer, to be able to create a fortune and to, to share with everyone because I am healthy. That would be passion, that internal inspiration, that internal desire. And if you can tap into that. Now, as marketers and infopreneurs, understand that you want to use a little of all four in your marketing, but the most powerful, of course, is using inspiration. And that's the critical aspect with persuasion. There's 12 laws, and we can spend a lot of time on these laws, but I want you to take a look at your marketing, and after you write your marketing piece, look at the different laws that you need to use, that you need to incorporate, and how to use those, because it'll make a big difference in your life. Persuasion will change your whole life. The whole world is persuasion. Everything that we do, so again, as parents or managers or employees, learn how to persuade, learn how to influence. It'll change everything that you do. Again, because less than 1% of the people in this world even know these skills. They don't take the time. They know the three or four notes, right, on the piano, and they just hit them with every person, with every audience, with every demographic. They hit them with the same three or four, and there's over 100. So it's up to you to study your audience, know which ones to use and how to use them, and that's what makes a big difference in persuasion and influence, motivation, and power. Now, for additional information, you can go to uh, www.magneticpersuasion.com for complete information on mastering persuasion, motivation, and influence. We do send out a weekly persuasion tip newsletter, and the reason we do that, it's small, manageable, bite-sized pieces. If you can just implement one a week, you'll see a big difference in your future. We do offer affiliate programs, resource materials, and valuable links. But what I want you to do is take a look at your marketing, take a look at your information, infopreneuring, and do the call to action first. Do it first because that is the most important. It doesn't no matter how well you speak or how well you write. If you can't get people to run to the back of the room to buy your product, if you can't get people to call your 800 number to buy your product, you're not going to get anywhere. So you have to create that urgency. You have to find those laws of persuasion to be able to do that. And that's my, my gift to you. Again, I spent thousands of hours studying this and trying to crystallize it. There's a lot more information that we can talk about, but persuasion is the key. And use it honestly and ethically. Sure, it has a little bad name. Some people with anything. There's a kind of internet can be used for good, it can be used for evil. Persuasion is the same. I mean, they use the same thing as President of the United States and peace negotiations, whatever it is. Persuasion is a powerful tool that you can master, and when you master it, it'll make a big difference in your life, your success, and your income. Thank you. <clears throat>